Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel, True Crime and Tarot. I am Natalie and this is a case of Eileen Beth Michelov. Um, this is um, a case that was not known to me until I researched some missing people's cases. There is not much um, information in this case, but I have got what I could find from the resources that is online. Um, just a disclaimer then, I don't mean any disrespect to anyone that is involved in this case and I do not accept, accept anyone that is very much abusive or disrespected to anyone in this case. So, as of that, I'm going to jump into this case now and then I'm going to do the tarot card reading at the end for this case. So sit back, relax and enjoy this case. Okay then, so this is the case of Eileen Beth Mishloff. She was born on March the 12th, 1975. Her birth location was in Lincoln, Nebraska. She has brown hair, brown eyes, and she was five foot three at her disappearance. At the time of her disappearance, Mishloff was wearing braces on her, de on her teeth. She has ears pierced and also she has freckles on her cheek and the bridge of her nose also. There is also a small lump on the inside of her left ankle and she was last seen wearing a charcoal grey pullover Esprit, I think that's how you pronounce it, polo sweatshirt. A pink and charcoal grey shirt with a horizontal stripe and black low top. Also with Keds sneakers, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, Eileen Beth Mishloff then was last seen on January the 30th, 1989. She was walking home from school in Dublin, California at approximately 3pm when she had disappeared. Witnesses have recalled seeing her walking alone on the Amada Valley Boulevard near the Village Parkway that afternoon, but she was not seen again after that. Eileen's key fob was later found near the entrance to John Mate Park, which was along the route that she typically took her way home. If there's any information regarding this case, then to call the San Francisco field office then for that information. Um, there was one possible suspect that was named Timothy Bidner, who was also investigated for possible connection to the disappearance of Amanda, quote, Nikki Campbell. For many, many years, Bidner was not considered a suspect in the 1988 disappearance of Amber Swartz. Garcia from Pinoli, California, I think that's how you pronounce it, do apologize. And Michaela Garakt from Fairmont, I think it is, Fremont, California. He was never charged in any of the cases that maintains his innocence and successfully sued Amanda's hometown for the Fairfield in 1997 for the defamination of character. Bidner approached many of the mothers of the missing girls from the East Bay area offering his assistance, including Amber and Michaela's family, families. Investigators asked Amber's mother to maintain a quasi-friendship with Bidner in hope of learning if he was connected to any of the girls' cases. She had authorities had agreed that Bidner appeared to play mind games with victims, loved ones and the law enforcement also. He has been ruled out in Michaela's case and in the 2020 David Mish was charged with the kidnapping and murder of Mish. This is the suspected serial killer then. He is awaiting trial in Michaela's case and in the 1986 double murder of the two women, um, Curtis Dean Anderson, who was convicted of the 2000 kidnapping and molestation of the California girl who was also mentioned as a possible suspect in Amanda's case. The investigators searched Anderson's mother's residence in June 2001 for evidence linking him to her other missing girl cases that nothing was located. In 2009, however, police said that they believed Anderson was responsible 
um, for Amber Swartz Garcia's disappearance and he had confessed to Amber's murder a month before he died in prison in 2007. The police had spent 18 months investigating his, his statement and he couldn't find any evidence to refuse it. To refute it, I apologise, no refuse it. And they said they were ending the search for her many remains sceptical of Anderson claims. However, an Amber's body was never found in 2013 after a online petition campaign in the Panoli Police Department reopened the investigation into her disappearance. James DiVaggio has been considered as a possible suspect in Arlene's case. He and his former girlfriend, Michelle Lynn, Miss Short were charged with the 1997 abduction, rape, murder of Vanessa Lee Sampson. They was also charged with the additional counts of sexual assault in an unrelated case in the mid 1990s in 2002. Miss Short and Daviaggio was convicted of Sampson's murder and sentenced to the death. They are awaiting their execution. Eileen still remain missing in the case is remaining unsolved. So she was a good student and she dreamed of becoming a patrician and she was accomplished figure skater who won medals locally. The investigating agency of this case is in Dublin Police Department. The number is 925-833-6670. Or there is a number 800-635-6306. This is where I come in, brought myself into this. And I decided, you know, we need to get to the depth. People need to know, your family needs to know what happened to Eileen. So I thought, let's do a tarot card on this case. A few tarot cards, I apologise. On this case, there is four questions that's very specific that I have asked. Which is number one, what happened to Eileen Beth Mishloff? Two, who was involved in Eileen's disappearance? Three, where is Eileen now? And four, what is the final outcome to be for Eileen's case? So, number one, what happened to Eileen Beth Mishloff? We had the star card that came out. There was hope, there was also a wish, and there was a sense of freedom, the calm after the storm. The verse eight of wands, there was a struggle and chaos, panicking to do with the unfinished business and there was arguments and there was an interfering third party member. Lovers, there was a couple that had come in contact with Eileen, there was an admirer and there was infatuation. Five of pentacles, there was a loss and a misery and desperation and struggling. Four of cups, they were being bored and being unaware of where Eileen was. There was a lot of being withdrawn and fantasising also. Reverse page of swords. There was an enemy that was argu argumentative, rude, hostile, malicious and aggressive that caused a lot of injuries to Eileen with something sharp. Queen of swords. There was a woman who was intelligent, very private, that seeks the truth, that is very independent, open-minded, that also may be Eileen's mum. Judgment card. There was a lot of determination and confessions, good or bad, that was to be exposed and accepting full responsibility. Justice. There is to be the law that is involved that's taken, someone that is taking responsibility to what happened to Eileen. Reverse Eight of Swords, so there was someone that was breaking free and standing up to abuse and there is someone that's to surrender and the jury is to rule very favourably. Reverse Seven of Wands, there was foul play, there was overwhelmness and paranoia and a lot of aggressiveness. Who was involved in Eileen Beth Mishloff's disappearance? Reverse Six of Swords, there was conflict, there was someone that was stopping in someone's track stirring up trouble that was trying to run away but there was no way to run reverse emperor there was a male that would not take responsibility that is unpleasant very aggressive and brutal that is highly confident 
to her once, there was deciding which action to take and there was also some travel overseas. Magician, there is a strong male that had a lot of control and a lot of ideas that took action and they were very determined. Page of Pentacles, there's a territorial person that is in nature an animal lover that is also friendly and honest that may have been a farmer or an outdoor worker. Queen of Wands, there was a female that was very strong, powerful, independent, helpful, protective and intuitive. Three of Cups, there was a teamwork that was involved and a gathering. King of Swords, there was a male, a authority figure that seeks the truth, that seeks justice and is involved in legal matters. Where is Eileen Beth Micheloff? Hangman, there is a sacrifice and being tied up and restricted. Five of Swords, there was a rape, murder and hostility where Eileen fought in a corner and there was involved in a bad crime. Page of Wands, there's to be news on the whereabout of Eileen and the travelling. Ace of Swords, there's to be a breakthrough and mental clarity. Reverse two pentacles, there is some final decisions and overwhelmness. Knight of Pentacles, there's a cautious, hard-working person who may be a farmer or works outdoors where Eileen is. Reverse Moon, there's hidden things that is coming to light. Reverse Empress, there is a mother figure that is very unhappy and may have had a marital breakdown. Three of Swords, there's sadness, trauma and heartache. Reverse Wheel of Fortune, there's a lot of struggles and setbacks and being worn out. Reverse Hermit, there's also someone who's outcasted and learning to face their fears head on. What is the final outcome to be for Eileen Beth Michelov's case? Reverse Three of Wands, there is to be delays and setbacks. Reverse Hierophant, there is to be a change of religion or tradition and someone is to make their own decisions. Reverse Ace of Cups, there's someone who's to be unhappy in a lot of pain that's very upset and emotionally drained. Ten of Swords, there's to be news of an assault, a violent attack by an enemy and being stabbed, which ended in a death. Chariot, there's someone who is determined, that is overcoming obstacles, that is to get victory. Reverse fool, there's some recklessness and someone that is to ignore advice, that is to do bad decisions and inappropriate mistakes, that is very immature, that needed to get away. Reverse Nine of Pentacles, there is to be someone who is covered up that is maybe involved in swindling. Ten of Cups, there is to be happiness by Eileen Beth's family. Seven of Cups, there is to be some enlightenment and someone with a hidden identity with multiple choices that is to be revealed. The Devil card, there is obsessions, addictions and jealousy. There is someone that is in hiding. Ten of Wands, there's news to be out that Eileen was taken advantage of and there was a lot of things that had happened. Nine of Swords, there is to be a lot of anguish and conflict and mourning and coping alone. So this is the case of Eileen Beth Micheloff. I hope we can all get some awareness for her and for her family. Um, that is the resources that I could find in the um media on the online searches um if there's anything i'm missing please comment in the comment section below i really really appreciate it until i see you all next time bye